Project 30, Block the Sound. This project is similar to number 29, except the principle is reversed. And we do rearrange some of the parts in this circuit. And when I turn on the slide switch, the light from the white LED is going to hit the phototransistor and sound an alarm. Turn down your volume because this is going to be loud. Now when I put my hand between the white LED and phototransistor, the sound stops. In the previous project, the horn sounded when I put my hand in between the white LED and phototransistor to block light to it. But now it's the opposite. Resistance decreases when light hits the phototransistor. You, you could put an object in this area so that it is between the white LED and phototransistor and then if somebody takes it, an alarm could sound, which could indicate that they robbed you. <laughs> 31, light and sound. For this project, we're going to use one of the smaller base grids, and we have the color and white LEDs, as well as the horn. The color LED has the line lens on it because we might get better effects with it. We're going to take the circuit to a dark area in the room and turn on the slide switch. Now be aware this is going to be loud, so please turn down your volume. Now the horn sounds and both LEDs are on. You'll be able to tell that the color LED controls the horn and white LED. I'm going to make, have the circuit face the wall and you can see the color patterns on the wall. And it's pretty spectacular. You can also adjust the line lens to change the angle of the particles. The effects are best in a very dark room, but this is the best that I can do right now, so I hope you enjoy this nice light show with loud sound too. The attachment fell off by the way. 32. A new light and sound. We're going to use the same project, but we switch the locations of the white and color LEDs. The white LED is on the left, the color LED is now on the right. We're going to use the attach, the line lens again, and take the circuit to this dark area. It's going to be loud, so turn down your volume, everyone. Here we go. Do you notice anything different about the circuit? The horn and white LED are now on steadily. That is because, due to their position, the color LED is not controlling the white LED and horn anymore. Although the color LED still flashes, it is the horn and white LED are on steady. You can still see the effects on the wall. Project 33, Light Tunnel. This project will use one of the smaller base grids. We are going to put the circuit in a dark area for best effects, and I'm going to turn on the slide switch. The light tunnel, as well as the color LED, come on and all the lights flash producing a neat light show. Now when I hit the press switch, the color LED continues to flash, but the light tunnel LEDs are on steadily. And look, the uh, light tunnel even produces a neat light show on the wall. That's a nice side effect of this circuit. They don't mention it in the instructions. It kind of looks like an angel or a bat of different colors, red, blue, and green. Hitting the press switch, 
bypasses the color LED, which had been controlling the LEDs on the light tunnel. Releasing it allows the light tunnel LEDs to flash again. You can see the light pattern blink now. Projects 34 through 41 focus on 3D color imagery. For all those projects, we will need the 3D glasses. And note that projects 40 and 41 are, will be in the next video. But for the most part, we will not need to build any circuits with these projects. Now for 34, we will view this text, which contains eight words, which all say Elenco. The word Elenco is spelled, is listed eight times. Two of these words are green, two of them are blue, two are yellow, and two are red. These 3D glasses come with your kit, and when you put them on, you'll notice 3D effects. You may notice that the red printing appears to come to the front, while in contrast, the blue printing goes to the back. You might think of these glasses as what you would see in theaters, but these are different because these have a special film that diffracts colors differently. So the images that you view with them will appear to have visual depth. Colors like red will appear closer, and then colors like blue will appear further away. Sharp co color contrasts produce better effects than smooth color transitions, so artificial images will work better than natural images with these glasses. And just as a precaution, if you have young children, you should be careful if you are going to let them view 3D images with the glasses because 3D imagery could harm their eyesight. Although it's not likely to do so, on the side of caution, you should contact a doctor or physician before allowing your child to view the images if they are under seven years old. Project 35, 3D color mess. When you put on the 3D color glasses, you will look at the overlapping text that says snap circuits. These words overlap each other. Some of the words are horizontal, others are vertical, like a word search, but they roughly and messily overlap each other. And they are five different colors, green, blue, yellow, red, and purple. When you view the text with the 3D glasses, you might notice that the red printing will appear come to the front while the blue printing goes to the back. Project 36, 3D color LEDs. This project actually involves building a circuit and we will build the circuits for projects one and two in which the color LED and white LED are used respectively. Starting with the color LED, when you turn the circuit on, you will view the color LED through the 3D glasses. But then you would do the same with the white LED, and you will see different effects. Project 37, your 3D color. For this project, you will view things around your home using the 3D color glasses. And these could include your computer, television, or phone. And you'll see the sharp contrast between red, blue, green, and yellow, which will give the most interesting effects. You could also try and make your own drawings with crayons, colored pencils, or markers. And then have a con even have a contest with your friends to see who can make the most interesting image and see what the images look like when you use the 3D glasses. Project 38, 3D color splat. Using the 3D glasses, color glasses, 
you will look at this picture on the right, which shows lots of scattered colors as though somebody splattered paint on a black background. And you'll see that the blue spots tend to be a lot bigger than the red spots, which are among the smallest. When you use the 3D glasses, you will see that the red spots, even though smaller, come to the front, while the blue ones up here go to the back. You can have your friends view them as well. Project 39, 3D Color Fun. For this project, you will look at the squares and circles in the picture, which are green, blue, yellow, red, and purple. Through the 3D glasses, you will notice that the red shapes come to the front, while the blue ones go to the back.